Let's dive in into an example where we are going from position to velocity to acceleration, and then we're using are the slopes to figure out what's happening. So here's the first example that I have for you. So it looks very complicated. This would probably, you know, freak students out. But again, if you're just thinking about trying to create your velocity and your acceleration time graphs, think about this is a blessing that you're starting off with actually your position time graph because you know going into the velocity one all you have to look at is the actual slopes it themselves now notice the reference so we're going north it's meters okay time is in seconds okay so that's all fine and what we're going to do is we're going to take these, okay, with just the chunks, the lines themselves. So we're going to divide this out into pieces, right? So we're going to have one piece, two piece, three piece, four piece, and five pieces. Notice I'm just dividing it into the straight lines to look at the slopes themselves. So I'm going to, you know, redraw this whole thing. Okay, now it's going to be, okay, I'm going to duplicate it back in. And I'm going to just redraw it right underneath it so that I can kind of see from one to the other. I'm gonna now er erase all of this, so it's all lined up, okay? The 10 seconds, 20 seconds, you know, 30 seconds. The actual values, you know, here, well, they're going to change because now I'm no longer, okay, looking at just the actual position. So now I'm looking at the instantaneous velocity in here, so this is not that, right? So this is, Okay, the instantaneous velocity that I have in here. So from the graph, what do I see? Well, this, from this point to this point, it does have a slope. Now, what is the slope, right? So I can calculate this through. Well, slope is rise over run. Okay, so in here, so what I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go up here. So this is my rise. Notice that it's 20 meters, okay, north divided by my run okay so my run is from here to here so how many seconds is that that's 25 seconds and there you have it so that will actually give me right what the slope is and it tells me that during that duration of time so going from one to the other over here so i'm going to just kind of do a jotted line so basically, if I'm gonna drop this kind of dotted line in there, on that interval, it looks like, okay, so this will be for me, so this is just 20 over uh, 25, which is, I guess, 0 0.8, okay, so in there, because it's four over five when you reduce it, you can put it in your calculators if you like, okay, and notice that it is positive, right? So it's still going in the same direction north. So what this is telling me, okay, is whatever this might be, and I'm gonna just assume for the, you know, for the sake of it, let's put this as one, okay, this would be one, you know, meters per second, okay, so that means this right here, okay, is gonna be 0 0.5 meters per second, this is one, okay, this is going to be 1.5. So I'm gonna be going up by 0.5s. So now I see that because this is 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 is going to be just somewhere, okay, along in here, right? So that's where it's going to be. So how would I draw this? Well, this is going to be flat line, right? So the slope, okay? So this is constant. So it goes from this point, right, to this particular point. And I can see that I had my particular slope. And that's my, you know, my first line in there. So that's number one. Okay, so that's slope number one, and that's out of the way. Now let's take a look at slope number two. So what happens with slope number two? I'm gonna just change colors. So that's gonna be now this particular, so from here to here. Okay, so what happens with that slope? Well, during that slope, what I have in there, Okay, so this is going to be from here to here. So I'm going to draw out, okay, so another. Now, of course, you don't have to draw these, but I'm just kind of showing you that they're aligning. So for that particular case, what I would have now is, okay, it's a flat line. So that means that the slope is going to be zero during that duration. 
So that's telling me that the velocity, so although it was constant, and then, okay, it just drops off. So it's basically just zero. Notice the position, okay, whatever object you have, it just has stayed at 20 during that time. So within here, so this is going to be just a, a line, flat line, okay, that I have right on there because there is no actual velocity, right? So now we typically withdraw this, okay, and this you have to be careful here is because if you say that, you know, this was right there, okay, and it was at 0 0.8, okay, you know, so I, I'm going to actually write it out in there. So this was 0 0.8, you know, meters per second, okay, so that means that over here on the blue line, okay, we typically, because it's under the same thing, so we can't have a point and a point, so we typically will draw a little bit of a, a circled line that just means that there's a drop off down, right, so at the 25 seconds, okay, it was going at 0 0.8 meters per second, okay, and then it just shut, shut its engine and it wasn't moving at all, it's just came to basically a, a complete stop okay so in there so here this is going to be okay my next point and that's up to 40. now notice the next line that i have so as you're going through here so this is going to be our next particular line so if i drop this down all the way so up to here now i can try to figure out okay so what has happened here all right well it looks like the object, okay, whatever it was, it started to, okay, go at a constant um, velocity again. So notice it's going from 20 all the way up, okay, so going from 20 all the way up to 30. And in this case, so what I have in there, okay, I'm going to kind of go back and forth in between, looks like it's positive. So what is the slope, okay, at, during this duration that I have in here? So that particular slope will be, so M equals, okay? So again, it's the rise. Notice that it has risen 10 meters, okay? Um, nor north, so it has moved in that. Okay, and how long did this take, right? So this has taken, you know, 10, I guess, seconds, okay? So that I have in there. So that's the rise over the run. Well, 10 over 10 is one, okay? So that means that I am back in here Okay, so again, I'm going to draw a circled line, okay, because these two are aligning. So notice the point and point. You can't have two points at the same time, right? You can't have two speeds. You can't be going at two speeds simultaneously. You can't be going at zero and one at the same time. So that's why we put, okay, a little a line um, in terms of a circular, okay, point, okay, because that just means that they're not simultaneously doing the same thing. So this is now one, right? Okay, so this is what I would have in here. So it's one meters per second that I'm moving north. And now all of a sudden, notice that what happens here is that on the next interval, so from here to here, okay, it looks like right there that we're going to be dropping down. So this is now a negative slope. So what is that negative slope going to be now? I'm going to switch back to blue. So I can now calculate, so during this duration, you know, what's the slope? I guess this is one, two, three, this is number four, okay, this was number three, okay, slopes, because they're not all the same. So that particular slope now, well, okay, so I have to go, you know, my rise, it's actually a fall, so I'm going to go down. Notice it goes from positive 30 to negative 20, right, so that's actually 50, right, but it's negative because it's falling down, so this is negative 50 meters, okay, so this is what I have in there, and this right here is going to be, okay, how, how long has this taken, well, it looks like, so this is going to be my run, so from here to all the way over here, so that's going to be 15 seconds, so this is 15 seconds, and now I have my answer, so, you know, 50 divided by 15, all right, so it's approximately 3.3, .3, okay? So if I was drawing this now, because I've labeled these, you know, 0.5, if I want to scale this properly, so unfortunately I have to go further in here, okay, bring it down. So this is what I have, okay, in there. So let me jot these down, okay, further. So this line, let me 
align this properly here. So what we have in here, okay, so notice this is negative one, you know, negative two, this is negative three, okay? So what we would have, so somewhere along, okay, this is for, um, how long was, this is for 15 seconds. So for 15 seconds, I was moving, okay, something along there, okay? I'm gonna shift this, okay, line all the way over here, okay? So this is what I would have, and this is for the 15 seconds that I have during this particular time frame. So as I go down, okay, all the way, so from here to here, now obviously this can extend so that you can kind of draw it for yourself. Well, then this is what happens, right? So I'm gonna keep it in blue, okay? So now again, I'm gonna put it as a dotted line, okay? This is that, let's change this one to blue right there. And that's how it looks like right there. So that is your actual graph that you would have. So this is going from a position, okay, to, okay, your velocity. Now notice at the end, okay, so this little piece right here, so it's flat. So now it goes back to, you know, having, okay, no particular velocity at all. So it's back to flat. So that's how we actually would try to do that, right? In order to be able to do and go from a position time graph to a velocity instantaneous time graph. So this is really useful exercise to be able to do. Now, you might say, boy, it's a lot of work. Yes, but it forces you to understand how these are interconnected and how you can draw these actual position time graphs and so on. So with that example, you know, you might say, huh, I still have to try to figure out an acceleration time graph. Now for this one, it's going to be very easy because you notice every single piece, okay, um, is flat. So for your acceleration time graph, so in here, so if you were drawing this out, okay, right there, so if I would do this, and I would try to, you know, draw this out all the way through. So because of the fact that your velocity is flat at every instant, right? So all of these, so, you know, if I extend this all the way down, okay, all the way here, okay, and I extend, okay, all of these um, down, okay, so let's say I extend this, okay, and so on. So what you're gonna be noticing is that for each piece, notice right here, in order to go from velocity to acceleration, so this is the acceleration one now, okay, for time, okay, in seconds. Now the only thing is, this is meters per second squared. So for us, what we would have, okay, and it is north, for each piece, well, this piece, it's a flat line. What about this piece? It's also a flat line. This is a flat line. This is a flat line. And this is a flat line. So really for acceleration, it's super easy in this case because there is no acceleration, right? You're not speeding up, okay, at all. So between the entire thing, it's literally a flat line. So for all of these intervals, there was no acceleration. As we are going from here to here, we have to look at the slope, right, of all of these. So the slope of these, and once we know the slope, well, they're just all zero, okay? Then there's no acceleration. So drawing this out was rather simple, okay, in order to do that on the acceleration side.